and gentlemen, Wheel of 2K, episode number 11. 11. Oh my god, we're almost at the season finale. End game, LaMelo Ball was just added to the squad. Now, I teased this a little bit at the end of last episode. Now, we were flirting with the idea that Shaq should be an end game, but I'm gonna be honest. I like my big, fat, 325-pound Shaq better. I don't care if he's got stamina issues. I like him better. Now, that being said, I still, I still told myself I'd have one end game, and LaMelo Ball is our power-up player. He has certainly scored 10 points since being an invincible. There is this endgame LaMelo Ball. If we stack them up right next to each other, they're both 19 years old, which is just so insane. Stats are very similar. This is what I mean. Like, how is one better? They've got the exact same fucking stats, but you go down to badges and you realize this LaMelo has 15 more Hall of Fame badges. So that's why the endgame is so much better. Either way, so we're going with endgame LaMelo Ball, and I'm going back to Invincible Shaq for episode number 11. We also have Invincible Cade Cunningham. That puts us at one endgame and five Invincible on this team. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not even close. As far as upgrades, it's gonna be tough to find a way to upgrade this team, but it is episode 11. Sitting at 7 and 3, best case scenario, I could earn one toe sucking. Worst case scenario, I have the temporary tattoo for six episodes. And then one win and one loss is a fake STD call. Five people in my contacts. I don't know what gives me more anxiety, the 7 and 5 or the 8 and 4, but 9 and 3 I'm fine with. I can, I can make that work. All right, boys, let's see what we can do with this wheel spin. Like I said, I mean, this team is so cracked. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be going for here, but let's see if we can get dynamic. Guess the age, Dark Matters. Okay, so same thing as last time, except I have to guess their age. You guys have seen me do this before. This one is not easy. We'll just go Dark Matter, and we just look on the auction house. Tobias Harris, would I even want him? Probably not. Ben Wallace, I wouldn't want him. Melo, no, can't. Draymond, I've used him before. I can just keep going. You know what? Having a Tim Duncan instead of Evan Mobley, I would really like that. Now, by the way, this is not the age that's going to be on this card because I know Tim Duncan is like old. Tim Duncan played with David Robinson. So I feel like Tim Duncan right now has to be, I'm going to say Tim Duncan currently is 40 years old. He's 46. Damn, undersold that. Hito Turkaloo. I'd actually love to use a Turkaloo card because he's a sharpshooter. How old is Hito Turkaloo? I'm going to say Hito Turkaloo is 39. 43. God damn, he's uh -huh. Oh, Taco Fall? Taco's young, right? Taco Fall, I'm going to say 24. 26. Shit. That's why I thought Taco Fall played for Purdue last episode, because he played for UCF and their colors are gold and black. That's why I thought he played for Purdue. Okay, Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba. Here we go. I am deep in the rabbit hole, but Mo Bamba is young. There's just there's the song, obviously. I think he's like 24. Shit. Says he's 23 here, but that might not be accurate. That might have been when the card came out. Boom! Mo Bamba, 24 years old, May 12th, 1998. He was born eight days after me. That's crazy. Yo, he's seven foot 230. I'm actually excited to use a Mo Bamba. All right, Mo Bamba, added to the squad, episode 11. Let's go. And I'll take out David Robinson for him. I still think like Bonchero is probably a lot better. So Mo Bamba will just get reps from there, and then so will Manu. So we'll have still two really good centers that come in. All right, gentlemen, our team's fucking insane. I don't even need to think about anything. I'm ready to play. All right, that just leaves the challenge wheel. And let's hop into this game with this crack team of LaMelo, Carmelo, LeBron, Shaq, and Yao. Let's see what it is. 60 plus, dude, now that I've been getting better low key, I'm knocking this one out of the park. Score 60 plus. I think I scored an average of 72 in the last two games. I scored 70 last game and 75 the game before. He's got Invincible Booker, Jaden Ivey, Hernan Gomez, Taco Fall, and yeah, he has some tall centers. Damn, he's got some tall ass centers. Dude, I respect his center game here. It's gonna be a game. I could feel it already. He's a lot better than the last guy I played. Yup, that's big boy Shaq. That's my invincible Shaq. I like this Shaq so much better. All right, he's gonna off-ball me the whole game, so let's go with the screen and roll game. Ooh, Ooh Shaq on Yao. Oh, Yao should be open. Yup. Hernan Gomez, late to rotate. Wide open center. Devin Booker spacing. Good defense! Ooh, picture perfect textbook defense. Sir, that was beautiful. A little step back. Probably not my... Wait, did I green that? Oh, I think I greened that without seeing the bar. That's so hype. Maybe I should eventually turn that shot meter off, huh? Look at this defense. You can't do shit. I own you. He also had Yao Ming on LaMelo and he didn't take the mismatch. All right, into Yao. Oh my God, Taco, fall with the rip. Shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Not good deep. 13 to nine. Let's just hang in there, boys. Good move. Wait, good move. Hell of a move. And guess what? That's Invincible Shaq, baby. Not Endgame Shaq. This Shaq knows how to play ball. That other Shaq is a little bitch. Beauty. Who's, who's, who's got the sauce? Oh, Manu. Oh, it was a pretty nasty move. I was praying on it. 
I'm so conflicted on Evan Mobley, dude. I don't know if he's good or bad. I can never figure it out. Booker all the way into the lane. We'll take that. No, no, no. Shit. Up by six. Yup, right up there. Whoa. Little high there, buddy. Bonchero gets swatted by the computer. Shisa. Okay, that's fine. That is not a good shot. Run the court, Ginobili. Get him jumping. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never ever in my whole life seen a player do that in a real game of basketball and it happens like two times per 2K. Paolo Bonchero is gonna space for a wide open three. 18 to 24. That is a really good response. 18 to 24, Shaq's got a mismatch. Don't entirely know how that happened, but I don't entirely know how I could have possibly just missed that. With endgame Shaq, I would have made that, bro. Power back down, free bucket. Get up, Yao? Yao for another one. Wait, what? A rebound in another bucket! Steal, rebound, bucket, y'all! 22 to 24. He's close to activating his takeover, which I think is post score. Good on ball. Yup! Get it out of there! Bucket! Yao's getting closer, 24 to 24. Great run right now, and great defense. Let's go, the on ball magic is working. Yao, to the paint, on to Kempe! Matumbo! Not today! Let's go! Six for seven, 14 points. He is a bucket or a block away from the takeover! Manually swatted! Put him in the post! Put him in the post! You can't stop him! Let's go! Unfucking stoppable right now. 16 points, six for seven, a rebound, and at least one block, if not more. I can't tell how many he has. Dude, because he's got Hernan Gomez on Yao, who's got post takeover going. Hit one! You know it! What is he doing? Why do you got this Hernan Gomez guy on Yao? Put your... Oh, he's got Yao and Taco Fall in now. I, I guess... I don't know how he keeps getting switched off, but he keeps getting switched off! Steal the inbound! Over to Yao! Oh, ripped by Taco... Ta that Taco Fall is nasty, dude. He jumps in passing lanes so fast. Good. <laughs> he's got 20 fucking one, dude. Hop step. Oh, damn. Shouldn't have gone with the hop step. Just got to go straight up. 35 28. Taco falls in on LeBron. LeBron on Taco Fall. Up to Yao for one more bucket. He has 25 in the second. No wonder he has no rebounds. He's not missing any shots. I mean, there's no offensive rebounds to get if you just keep making every shot. Takes a midi with Taco Fall. It's a good shot. 37 33. Let's keep it up here. Ooh, this is Invincible Cade now. Let's get a screen and roll here. Oh, Mo Bama's in. Bama to the rack. Got Jay Nivey on him. And one! Have I done anything with any shooting guards or small forwards or, or literally anybody else? This is my favorite brand of basketball to play. This is how I love playing 2K. Five seconds. Bonchero. Good roll. Right there. Mismatch. 0.9. That's a bucket. 44 to 38 on pace for 88 points. I think I'll hit 60 plus. 44 to 38. Let's keep playing through the bigs. He is the one who needs to find a way to stop this. Okay. Well, that's a pretty effective way to stop it. Oh, damn. That was a sick enemy. Dude, if you could force your player to do that animation every time, 2K would be a different game. 48-45. Great bucket, Yao. We don't have the same Yao, I don't think. I think he's got dynamic ratings, Yao. And I've got signature Yao, who I believe is better. Shot clock violation? Oh, that hit rim. Shit. Good defense. Good defense! Ta <laughs> Taco Fall greened one. Mobley! This Hernan Gomez guy is a massive liability on defense. I have gotten so many buckets on this man. And he can't shoot threes either. What do you got him out there for, huh? Oh, good pump. That should be a Mobley bucket. Gets his own board amidst four. Savage. He earned, he earned the right to shoot that. Thomas ends up wide open for a two. 54 to 52, I'll take it. The good shot every time. Good rotations, boys. Okay. We have some mismatches. Hey! Bonchero! Great feed up high. Mobley? I'll take him. I will take him. Let's get a three point lead right here. Mobley free throws. Beautiful. What an end to that quarter. Five point lead headed into the fourth. Score 60 plus was the challenge. We're already at it at the end of the third quarter. All right, we're bringing the starters in for probably the rest of the game. On ball defense, staying strong. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Ooh, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. Up to Shaq. Easy bucket. 62 to 55. Ooh, he throws one way too deep. Oh, my. <gasps> blocked. Blocked by Yao. Let him jump again. Go up with it. Let's go. Getting so much better at that. Yo! Yo! Yo, man! It's a 12-point game! He is him! He is him! Jade and Ivy on him. Nobody on him. This is gonna be my highest scoring game ever. 34 points, 14 for 17. The most ridiculous game you'll ever see. He just has no answer for the GOAT. The communism GOAT. He doesn't even know what I'm gonna do! Oh my god, who is he? 83% in both halves. I'm the one! Let's go! I own you! Let's go! 39! A steal! A shot from deep! Oh, I would have literally ripped all of my clothes off and sucked Yao Ming's actual cock and or balls. 41 for Yao. His second takeover! 76 to 58! His second takeover! I own you! I literally own you! Literally the most cracked game I have ever played in my whole fucking life. That was insane. I'm so mad he quit because I wanted to see the box score, but that was 41 with signature series Yao. It doesn't count those points either, which sucks. Like it doesn't count for his, it doesn't count towards his card stats. Let's go for it. Let's go for an end game taco fall pack for our challenger. We also have a rage quit wheel. We have a lot to do here. That is like the most pure definition. Damn, another pink diamond. That is the most pure definition of a rage quit though. Literally dicked on him so hard that he had no choice but to quit. Rashard Lewis, I don't know much about him. Rage quit wheel, baby. Let's see what we got. We should get some sauce for that one. We just played our hearts out. Actually, just disgusting. Is that team wheel jackpot? Yes, sir. All right, we spin the NBA team wheel. Any player from this team? Let's see what we got. Just give me Houston Rockets. I'll go end game. <laughs> Yo, Miami Heat. Oh my God, there's literally so many insane players you could go here. I feel like upgrading LeBron to invincible LeBron would be kind of sick. Is there an invincible LeBron like Heat LeBron? All right, I'm not even gonna lie. My team is too good. My team is too good. I get, I could get invincible LeBron. I could get invincible D-Wade, but my team is straight up too good. And I feel bad. Like this is not how it's supposed to go. We have just had so many insane like stretches of rage quits and challenge real completions. I'm out playing how well I should be playing, if that makes sense. Also, we pulled an invincible Carmelo in packs, so that helps out too. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm going Dwayne Wade. It's not the most cracked Miami Heat player, but I have to like literally artificially slow myself down right now. I'll put him in for Manu. Maybe he'll get reps. Maybe not. And honestly, I got to put Manu down here. Manu is too iconic to not have him in the lineup somewhere. Let's go, boys. That was one of the hypest games I've ever played my whole fucking life. I hope you guys loved it because that was so much fun. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.